Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day and now it's after work. I'm Joe. Welcome back to Nintendo Spotlight, where every week games come out on the eShop. And we've got a review copy for Neo Atlas 1469. And forgive me, I forgot to pull up the info. Um, it's on, it will be coming to the Nintendo Switch this month. I'm gonna get the date for you guys right now. Uh, release date is uh, the 9th of April. So that's just a few days. I think that's next Thursday, I want to say. No, actually, sorry. It's next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, this game will be dropping as a live stream. It is April 1st. That, that this Me talking about this game right now is not an April Fool's joke or anything of the sort. Thank you once again to NAS America for providing a re review copy of this game. I'm able to show it a little bit early. And <laughs> ready the jokes begin with the 1469 in the chat. Of course, of course, of course. So... We're going to probably spend a beefy amount of time on this game tonight. Not like an absorbent, like, whole entire stream on this. But um, to get kind of the game going, there's a, it's very much an exploring type of game. Like, uh, the best way to describe it is anime-like civilization is probably the best way. You're discovering new lands. You're going around, finding different things, making different trades. Um... Uh, recruiting different generals, giving different pay skills, building up an economy and everything like that. So it's going to take a bit to get things going, but hopefully we can pull that off tonight. That's sort of the goal right now. And we're going to jump in fresh. I did play um, uh, some of this during uh, my uh, my time out in San Francisco for the, SI, uh, for, for the, SIM, the NIS America press event um, that was a couple weeks back. And so... Um, I guarantee you we're going to mess up royally, <laughs> but I'm going to give it the good old college try. <laughs> so let's act, let's go. Let's go. And um, actually, as far as pricing goes, I should have uh, pulled up the price for you guys on the Switch. It's actually out on Steam, I believe, already, and I think we're getting it now. I think it, I think this game did come out like a year ago or something like that. $49.99, uh, digital and physical, of course. You guys know NAS likes to do it on physicals. 1466 AD, Portugal. <laughs> wow, a college shirt tonight? We classing it up tonight? You know what's funny? I didn't even think to change my shirt after work. <laughs> I completely forgot to. And now that you mentioned it, I'm like, well, there we go. Oh, man. So is that what it was? The Switch version came out a year ago? And it's it's a physical release that's actually happening. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's interesting. That's probably a first, I feel like, where they're not launching a game and the, and the physical at the same, the digital version and the game at the same time. Well, I said that all wrong, but anyway, let's get to the dialogue. I'm going to catch up with chat in here in a minute here. But, uh, here we go. Antonio Gomez, June 20th, 1466. We've left Lipson for the African continent. We intend to chart and explore Africa's southern reaches. I pray that this expedition rewards us all handsomely. Also, you're going to be pressing A a lot for things that you think are, like, loading screens, like that anchor over there. You're actually just supposed to press A. Threw me off a lot. <laughs> June 27th, 1466. In a small town at the base of three mountains. It's been a week since we were we saw we were on solid ground. Sailors are cheering. A necessary morale boost before we depart on our long expedition tomorrow. Again, I had to press A there. I, <laughs> I'm like... Ugh. June 28th, 1466. A storm to overtook us as we left... The three mountains. The ship took us took severe damage. We must return to Lipson and start again. Sadly, luck doesn't seem to be on our side thus far. July fourth, fourteen sixty-six. Spotted some suspicious-looking ships ahead. Wait, those flags bear the skull and crossbones. Pirates, and it's the infamous Morgan. Do we even stand a chance with this damaged ship? We must prepare for the worst. Uh oh, pirates. Uh. Let's 
so this is where the diary ends, is it? That's right. The sailor entrusted with this diary had to swim for his life to escape. He said the waves carried the Admiral toward the three mountains, but that was two years ago. I see. I presume that Admirable Go Admiral Gomez was, was targeted by the pirates from the start. Hmm. The problem is locating the island with, with the three mountains. Three mountains. Why does that sound so familiar? Uh, let us begin! Anyway, Professor Perez. Hmm? Would you like to lend us an aid in, as an admiral? At the age 18, you graduated val valedictorian at Salamanca University. If you led a fleet, the world's mysteries could very well be laid bare. What do you say, Professor? Or should I say, Admiral? Oh, I understand your reasoning, but that's merely a flight of fancy. If you want me to join, you'll have to give me a logical reason. But as it stands, I'm a very busy man with a very important job. I plan on solving the world's mysteries with one simple book, the legendary astronomy text Almagest. It has to be in Arabia. Well, I'm afraid I must get back to work. If you will excuse me. Oh no, wait, Professor Perez! He's gone. With Admiral Gomez having disappeared, we need Perez's cooperation. Well, I can't sulk forever. Allow me to explain your trading company's current situation. As you've likely uh, guessed, our company currently lacks an admiral. Although Admiral Gomez was fantastic, he's been missing for two years. And our once thriving trading company is now on the edge of bankruptcy. But fear not, for you have me by your side, always and forever. So let's do our best to, to restore the company to its former greatness. I'm very knowledgeable as to the operations of the trading company. Would you like me to give you an explanation? You already know how the company works. We can skip the explanations. Well, we're definitely going to do the explanations because I'm going to need that. <laughs> Warrior Bros and Lizabelle, what is going on? Sorry, I'm all super formal tonight. I forgot to change my shirt. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so how about it? Shall I explain how to manage the trading company? You're dang right you should. Understood. All right, allow me to explain, but before I start, let me teach you how to fast forward the message. You can simply fast forward by pressing X. Handy, isn't it? But I hope you'll bear with me, for I'm about to explain something quite important. First off, this is the world map of our 15th world century. As you can see, we don't have a clue about the, about the world outside of Europe. The areas not on the map are uncharted areas, and are shrouded in fog. These uncharted areas are said to hold countless treasures and valuables. Your goal as the head of our trading company is to clear this fog and find treasures and valuables. However, <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow up in this? Uncharted areas are also full of pirates and dangerous creatures. Many sailors have lost their lives trying to sail to such, a stra such strange seas. That's why we have to prepare ourselves for this challenge. Did Joe put on a polo for the game? Yo fam, I forgot to change my shirt. <laughs> now please, allow me to tell you about our home country, Portugal. The kingdom of Portugal is the west, westernmost country in Europe and coastal. Meaning it's also close to an uncharted territory. So the kingdom is putting its efforts behind pioneering exploration. And this is... Portugal's capital, Lisbon. The home of our trading company. Li Lisbon is full of sailors and merchants searching for new treasures. And so, our, so is our trading company. To venture into uncharted areas, we must dispatch fleets for expeditions. And those who lead the f these fleets are called admirals. Since we don't have an admiral, we need to prioritize getting one. But skilled admirals are more not easy to come by. Since we can't look for our Admiral Gomez, we must convince Professor Perez. Feels like in school, Yoakuma. Class is in session. <laughs> Let's find that astronomy text that Professor Perez is after. If we do, Perez, Professor Perez might agree to join us as an admiral. Hmm, where was it again? Albuquerque? No, Ada something. It's on the tip of my tongue. Arabia. Oh, right, Arabia. Should be somewhere around here. Aha! See this treasure box. This is unconfirmed. Discoveries look on our ma on the map. So, shall we open the box? Inside should be a big triangle. I already failed. GG, yo fam. Oh, we found it. Let's go. 
Wow, it's the pyramid. It's four triangles in one. How magnificent. Right. I should teach you how to open the treasure box. Now, please, select the treasure box near the pyramid. You can move the, gra the round cursor in the center of the screen with the left stick. All right. So, bam. Right there, right? I'm pressing A, fam. I'm pressing A. Nope. Nope. Fam. Right there. What's happening? Nothing. Come on. It's at the thing next. Oh, the treasure box next to it. Whoops, right there. Boom. How <laughs> blind is a bat? Yo, I already failed Akuma, but what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Nintendo Spotlight. We are checking out Atlas 1469. 1469. I'm going to get the year right eventually. <laughs> Discovered Arabian Nights. Acquired reward of 10,000 gold. Hell yeah. Let's go. What's our findings? This, this is, this book. Could it be? It's the book Professor Perez wanted. We have to let him know right away. Found the book, did you? Mind if I take a look? Hmm. This is Arabian Nights. It's a volume of fairy tales. Mr. Miguel, I don't have time for silly fantasy stories. From the book or from you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ugh, it seems I've jumped the gun, but that's fine. We'll just look for it again. Oh, here, take a look at this. Can you see the fluffy thing floating around the Arabian Nights? This is this is a rumor. The locals often have valuable information. Right, let's go. This have touch support? It's touch, bleh, bleh, does this have touch support? We can find out, actually, if this has touch support. I just got to pull it out of the thing. Um, just give me a couple minutes. A book on astronomy. I saw this one place near the Sphinx. The Sphinx? I know where that is. Should be right near the pyramid. The Sphinx is smaller than the pyramid, so be sure to zoom in and look. Alright, so with the right stick we can look around. If you have changed the camera angle, do pay attention to the compass on the bottom right of the screen. Pointy ends. You see it? The compass will realign itself. Alright. Then please zoom into the map and search near the Sphinx. Sphinx. Bam. So let's see if it's this one. They say the Sphinx is there to keep the pyramid safe. Oh, let's. No. Ooh. Let's go dig in a little bit more. This is supposed to be near it. Hold on, let me get. No, it's not going to let me get anything but the Sphinx. And that's where we... It's near the pyramid. Then... Right. They say the Sphinx is there to keep the pyramid safe. Let's see, let's see. How far off could it be? He already looks like a villain. Will this help me know the map better? <laughs> so check it. The map apparently has, um, there's, there's, uh, different, um, there's like different layouts of the map. You can actually end up with a flat earth. I am not kidding. That is one of the thing, the features that happened in this game. <laughs> it's in the trailer. <laughs> oh, man. You would think if they said the Sphinx is nearby. Oh, man. But yo, Lizabelle, what's going on, fam? How you doing? We getting raided by flowers. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, let's 
Let's see if we can pull this at least. No? Okay. Yo, I'm lost. Why can't I find this Sphinx? Good job. I just want to stop by and say hi, sending you that I appreciate it. I appreciate it, fam. Wait, what? Oh, crappies. There's a bell showing that love. Did it say something else that I completely missed? I thought I could have sworn it was like, hey, yo, fam, should be nearby the pyramid. Boy. But yeah, we can definitely test out whether or not the game has such a story. I'm not, a, I'm not even sure. Looking around. A lot of different items that I cannot select because we're specifically looking for a Sphinx. Oh, look at that. We got some music. Or not. Deep does this thing want me to zoom in on the map? Oh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ah, boo. Nope. Oh, I pinpointed the algamet. The almaget. I'm a lot. This is the place I was looking for it. I'm sure the discovery will mean great things for your research. Oh, so fam found it? Yo. <laughs> Where the hell were... I'm over here trying to find the Sphinx. Wait, hold on. Okay. This guy. Hmm. Hmm. I still can't get past that moon sun thing. It's horrifying. What, the moon sun up there? Could it be? This is true. The very foundation of modern knowledge are incorrect. But how can I prove it? Perhaps the only way is to go see for myself. Uh, the world is round, y'all! <laughs> Mr. Miguel, I hereby accept your invitation to become an admiral. Yo, fam, the offer's done. That's it. You had a chance. Capiche? I'm not a sailor, but by but my knowledge should be a boon to your expeditions. Compensation? I seek knowledge. The fiscal rewards are up to you. 4% of the company ca capital at the end of the year? That'll be just fine. God damn! Yo, how much money is that? Yo, how much money are we making already? Bam! 4%? Come on. <laughs> we did it, Professor Perez. Has agreed to, our ad to be our become our admiral. He will definitely be a strong asset. Yeah, this guy is evil. <laughs> Yo, look at look at this man. Yo, this pretty boy right here. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Oof, I see it. you blind. Yo, I'm blind. <laughs> Akuma, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I thought I was looking for the for the Sphinx first. Whoops. <laughs> Sphinx? Sphinx. Sorry. It's a confusing word. I shall be back soon. Yo, fam, no worries. Now let me get pre I mean, Admiral Perez to look for Admiral Gomez. <laughs> I will tell you, that happened a lot faster than in the demo that I did <laughs> like three weeks ago. I swear to God, I was so lost. <laughs> well, in terms of clues to Admiral Gomez's whereabouts, I've, I've heard the I heard of the three mountains written in his logbook. I once read an article about those same three mountains, if I recall correctly. By the way, shout out to, I believe her name, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, someone. Um, I believe her name was Laura. She did the post NAS showcase show. She actually helped me walk through some of this. So shout outs to her because she was very awesome and very patient with me trying to figure this stuff out. Because <laughs> I don't play games like this. So I was like, you know what? I got to give it a shot. Got to give it a shot. Let's go. Let's go expand our, our boundaries. Let's test the horizons. Let's 
get out of our comfort zone, as the kids would say. Quapow. They're on the Canary Islands. It's likely Gomez was washed ashore on one of many islands nearby. Really? So Admiral Gomez is in the area. The hero Gomez. So there you go. Your episodes are your missions that you're completing. Well, from here on, the episode quest begins. We call the, the events and mysteries around us episode quests. You can find info on the episode quest in the episode guide. You can check the current episode and learn what to do next. Access the episode guide from the main menu by selecting episode. Oh, what's a main menu, you say? Oh, that's right, I forgot to tell you. The main menu is vital for connecting to you to so many aspects of the game. Yes, we know what the main menu is. And I gotta switch controllers, fam. I'm so sorry. All right, all right, all right. So you know what? Oh. There we go. <laughs> to mention the eight hours of text at the beginning. <laughs> well, I'm reading them because I don't know if anybody else, like, other than you, would already know how to play something like this. I know jack about games like this. This year is almost the year is almost over, so it's time to pay the admiral's salary. The admirals each get a cut of capital of our capital. Admiral Perez gets four percent, fam. As long as our capital is above ten thousand gold, we'll be safe. We're safe from bankruptcy. However, if we have a dud trade and lose our money, we will go bankrupt. Bruh, bruh. Why we gotta go bankrupt for? Who's who, who made the who's making these negotiations? I would have settled for 2%. I'm just saying. Come on now. Alright, two seconds. This is actually a perfect spot to swap my uh, joke ons here real quick. Take a quick pause for the cause. Yeah, this guy is evil. Pretty evil. Yo, bruh. My man looking fresh and clean. He's too much of a pretty boy to be evil. Come on now. Cut my man some slack. He's our admiral. He might be taking 4% of our, our, our revenue. <laughs> but come on, man. Um, bam. And come on. Bam. There we go. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're back. Hmm. So this is the place. Let's see if we can find any clues for checking rumors nearby. He needs to walk the plank. So, like the game mentioned already, those little cloud things are rumors that you're gonna wanna want to uh, go to and find out more information about the certain discoveries or lead you to different clues. Ugh, my man's got paid. It's 1469 now. A Portuguese ship was attacked by the pirate Morgan here. Oh, well, there we go. Current sailors went westward. Even with the rough waves, I heard someone make it made it to the island. Hmm, perhaps Admiral Gomez is here. Alright. Let's keep it going. Come on. So let's zoom in. Let's find it. Is this it? It is. Did something happen? I found the lead on Admiral Gomez's whereabouts. He's here! Cheaper than Timbo apples to apple takes? <laughs> Tim Apple. Ten apples here. A small hut. Could Admiral Gomez really be here? What are we waiting for? Let's send Admiral Perez to the hut. Allow me to tell you about expeditions and their ribbons. If an expedition has a red ribbon under it, you can embark upon. Look, the makeshift hut's red ribbon is red, so there's an expedition to be had. So if you would please make the... Oh, all right. Let's go, fam. Let's go. Investigate. Boom. So if it's got a red ribbon, we can investigate it. You want to dispatch? Let's go. For the makeshift hut. Oh, by the way, you can investigate from the fleet command in the main menu. It probably wouldn't hurt to keep that in mind. Boom. Admiral Perez and his team have gone to check it. They won't be back for a while, so let's collect some info in the meantime. If we get more admirals, we can send out more fleets that will keep us busy. Once Admiral Gomez is back, we can explore all over the world. All right. To the west of foggy London lies giant stone monument, Stonehenge. Let's find it on a map. We've made it to London. 
By the way, if you select towns on products, now nothing will happen yet. Those functions will be available to you soon, so please wait a little. Let's see Stonehenge is said to be a little west of London. Think we can find Stonehenge before Admiral Perez returns? Well, even if we can't find it now, we can always look for it later. So no pressure. Matt Multitasking is a trading standard company. You'll have more chances. Don't worry. By the way, so oh my god. <laughs> right here. View the history of your chronicle. It's a chronicle of your point. Very well. Press the LOR button to go backwards to your records. You can even go back to important decisions based on your admiral reports. Very handy tool if you want to go back and see what you did. Nice. So we can kind of go in reverse time there. Boom. Sorta. Or we can fast forward back to where we are, which is dope. Bam. So let's check these barrels out. Or try to find Stonehenge. Oh, we found it. There we go. Boom. Where's the straw pa hat pirates ride by? Yo, bruh. Oh. So this is Stonehenge. How did they manage to stack these big stones? Maybe giants really do exist. Well, since the ribbon is currently gray, we can't send an expedition here. But searching the world could help us solve the mystery of Stonehenge. When that time comes, we'll conduct a, pro a proper investigation. You know, four percent cheaper than Timbo Apple takes. Yo, know, fam. <laughs> Let what me. Is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? We are exploring. Yo, it's your yo L one. It's your boy Rarikon. Portugal. Shout out. Yo, fam. We're discovering things. <laughs> you see, you see the angel holding that pointy item on the top right of your map. <laughs> right there. If you press the plus button, you'll be able to use the pin function. You can drop a pin on your map. It's very useful. All right. Press A to drop a pin. You can drop. You can jump to where the pins. Ah. Okay. So if we leave pin, we can kind of like get to that destination quicker if we if it's something we need to return to. You know, going through this part a second time around is actually really helpful because now I'm understanding what's going on here. Press the extra baby button to pull out the pin and drop the pin on the map. All right. So let's make it A. Boom. He looks too happy to be Rurika. <laughs> yo, yo, Rurikon. That was your boy L1. That wasn't me. I didn't say that. <laughs> All right. So, homeboy spent time going through investigating the hut, and now he's ready. Excuse me while I'll take a swig of water for the working man. I investigated the hut, but nobody was there. Had they gone out, or were they? We decided to wait for a while. Everything in the hut appeared handmade. From the knife to the table, to the occupant made everything on their own. Suddenly, a man appeared. Hey! Well, if this is, well, isn't this a sight? I can't ne say I never expected guests. Not human ones, at least. They look Portuguese. Oh, trading company from Lisbon? Miguel? I see. Wait, that means you're here for me. That's right, I... I am. Antonio Gomez! Perez, was it? Tell me more about you, about how my dear Lisbon has been. Admiral Gomez relayed uh, his countless tales of adventure all night. The more I hear, the more I understood why he's called a hero. The next morning, as we were, we were busy preparing for our return trip, I saw a small monkey staring at us. Did it come for the forest? We humans must have been a rare sight. But why does it look so sad? It looks like it's saying goodbye to us. When the first mate told me that we were ready to depart, I gave the monkey a small wave. Illogical, I know, but it felt right. I guess the Portuguese were happier when they were in charge of more than just a slice of a peninsula. Bam, bruh. I would be too. Go, go, Admiral Gomez. Hello, Miguel. Long time no see. How have you been? Perez tells me you're just as careless as ever. But that's all, all about the change now that I'm back. <laughs> Admiral Gomez, <laughs> welcome back. I'm crying with joy. I'm so happy to see you work to work with you again. It's all thanks for Perez coming to save me. Isn't that right, Perez? I merely sat in the ship. The first mate did all the actual sailing. <laughs> that's how it starts. Me itching to go back out to sea. I'm looking forward to working with you all. 
Of course. Now what should we do about Admiral Gomez's pay? Pay? I'd be fine with the same 7%- 7%?! Damn, we're gonna be broke by- the Where's my profit? Where's my profit? What about me? What about Raven? What? Then it's settled. Yo, fam, no negotiations. What is this? My man's been gone for two years. No work, lower pay. Come on, man. <laughs> we're already at 11%, dude. By the time we're done with this Nintendo Spotlight, it's going to be 100% gone. Oh, man. <laughs> Hurrah. Admiral Gomez is back. I'm so excited. With Admiral Gomez going on expeditions again, the possibilities are... Calm down, Miguel. I need to recover my strength before I can go anywhere. You look well-rested to me, sir. I mean, look how beautiful this man looks. Clean-shaven now and everything. He's got the suit going on. Look at this man. He's ready to go. I'm going to rest up and take it easy for a while. By the way, is he back? I'm afraid not, but I'm sure he'll come back eventually. I know it. Yeah. Anyway. Things are really picking up with Perez on the team, aren't they? That was a very passive-aggressive statement there, Gomez. Indeed, with the brave Gomez and gen genius Perez, our future is bright. Things should be very interesting, wouldn't you agree, Master? Now you know how Portugal ended up broke, yo fam, right? <laughs> yo! You get 7%, you get 4%, you get 10%, 5 stars for everybody! Four stars! Oh my god. Speaking of stars, I need to have a dun 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 and I just changed multicolors. Can can we script that into the into the stream? I just thought of that right now, top of the dome, sorry. Anyway, back to Nintendo Spotlight. <laughs> and that completes the quest. Congratulations! The bigger your world, the more episode quests you will undertake. Use the episode guide as a reference to try to do as many as possible. I almost bit down on my tooth. I'm afraid of cracking things. Um, they shed light on the mysteries and yield fantastic rewards. Yo, touch some rocks I stacked over at Stonehenge. Yo, tip him over, Akuma! Tip him over! Let the chronicles of the return of Admiral Gomez, shall we? This music is something else. I didn't get to hear the music when I was at the event, so this is all new to me. From now on, any major event you experience will be noted in this manner. Alright, historic points. When are you gonna, uh, where are you going with that controller in your hand? Yo, fam. <laughs> What's going on, Spooky? Oh, man. Isn't it exciting to think of this wonderful... Oh, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> it's like, Master Blaster, what are you doing up there? Um, isn't it exciting to think of what wonderful events await us? I'm sure that we're... Th we're in for a thrilling ride, eh, Master? Can I do things? Alright, we got the world view. Pretty soon we'll have this whole menu unlocked. I'm already on my way. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yes, we could save now? Hell yes. <laughs> so what, trade and... There we go. Let's save it first. I'm making that progress, yo. All right, so if we got a minute to roam around here, I want to test out the, um, if there's actually touch screen. So, because that was a question for Ribo. So I just want to pull this out real quick. Okay, so it's skipping text with the touch screen right now. Um, he's demanding to talk to you. We were going to discuss plans, all right. Um, yes, let's meet him. Sorry, we're going to Gomez right now. Um, oh gosh, all right. This might not be a good time because now it's more text. Sorry, Ribo. We'll get that back in. We'll figure out. It seems like it's responding to at least me tapping the screen and it giving me next text, but I want to actually see if I can move around with my finger on the screen. I heard that this trading company is in talks of for, to form an exclusive contract with the kingdom. Hmm. Oh, am I incorrect? Oh, I see. Perhaps I was wrong. Well, please excuse me. <laughs> Who is that old man? 
What was that exclusive contract he was talking about? So I've traded my classroom for a seafaring quest to uncover the mysteries of the world. Yep, we have very high hopes for you. We we believe that no that no answer will be escape your will escape your Eiffel watch. Hmm. I'm inclined to agree with you, Miguel. Anyway, I plan to record all my findings and discoveries from here. To create oh the encyclopedia. There we go. Boom. Unlocking the encyclopedia. Throw that old man overboard, that's Jack Sparrow? <laughs> Hold on two seconds. I just want to hear... I, I want to double check the uh, audio real quick. Just make sure everything's going good. Man, this game gets really loud. Sheesh. And I, uh, that's why. Let's get that cable out of there. You didn't see anything! There we go. And it's going to raise up the game audio a little bit. I mean, not the game audio, my audio. It was fine earlier, and then now it's back to the game being very loud. Actually, no, because my I can benefit actually from a little bit of game. Bam. All right. And we'll go like right down there and just double check real quick. Damn, no, because that's really loud now. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, no, maybe so. Let's see. All right, yeah, yeah, no, that's much better. Sheesh. Okay. Uh, not much now. Reread that to tune of "Hey, Hey Joe" by Jimi Hendrix. Yo. <laughs> But but by the way, do you have what do you have your audio set at on OBS if you don't mind? Um, my audio, my desktop audio is fairly low, uh, just because this game is pretty loud. But um, my mic is um, at the flat zero dB because I mess around with it from my audio interface. But um, my compressor is what I raised up the output gain on just to give it a little bit more and I lowered down the gameplay audio just because it's unusual uncharacteristically loud for this game so I had to mess with that a little bit more and just kind of drop that down but uh here we go all right now we're back <laughs> we got our encyclopedia excuse me please take a look below at the compass on the map on the right of your map that number shows your trading company's current funds. If that number goes down to zero, we'll go bankrupt. <laughs> Bankruptcy means that we are finished as a trading company. That means g g g game over, man. <laughs> of course, as long as we have funds, we'll be fine. With Admiral Gomez back, I'd like to put uh, out more exploration fleets, but our company doesn't have the funds. We can't afford to do anything. Oh, what should we do? Does anybody have an ID any idea? I haven't the first idea as to how to run a business. We're a trading company, Miguel. We have to trade. I'll let us make money to buy better ships and discover new lands. That's a good point, but it's so much work. What's more is we... Whoa, that trumpet. <laughs> we only have two trade permits for two vessels. Two! No, no, I can't sulk. Nothing comes from sulking and complaining. Now let's look for a profitable product we can trade. Hmm? Seems like we have a customer. That's not a customer, it's an emissary of the king himself. It's Prime Minister Baldi. That is correct. I am a representative of the Kingdom of Portugal's Trade Institute, a parliamentary secretary of the royal family, and a member of the Privy Council. Luis Rodrigo Baldi. Is it true that the hero Gomez has returned? Hello, Baldi. You're looking awfully showy, aren't you? Huh, Gomez, you've returned. I always knew you'd be back with a smile on your face. Once again, you prove that you have the devil's luck. The devil's luck? Well, it was pretty devilish that I was attacked by pirates, but at least I'm back home in one piece. You are indeed. <laughs> now, if he only was here, it, was, it would be just like the old days. Yeah, he's not back yet. But his luck is better than mine, so we shouldn't have to worry. Maybe so. By the way, the pirate that attacked you, was it Morgan? Yes, it was. 
Our ship was already damaged when he attacked. That scum. We should contact Angela. I'm sorry to interrupt. What brings you to your humble trading company, Prime... Our tr uh, humble trading company, Prime Minister, Minister Baldi? Oh, right. The king sent me here... Uh, sent me after hearing news of Admiral Gomez's return. He asked that you gather information on products from Europe and Arabia. To ensure good trades, we will need to know what the product they what product they handle. Specifically valuable of products or raw materials used to make uh, used to make them. We know both areas, but there are still new products to be found. I see. So the kingdom is looking for high quality goods. That's right. You're a sharp one, son. What's your name? Miguel, sir. Miguel. I'll make sure to remember that. Back to the topic at hand. New products are liable to develop new industries, which is liable to make us rich. <laughs> and here comes the part, the important part. Listen well, Miguel. You need to bring us three products that interest the king. How easy is that? All right. Adios. I'm out. Episode 1469. Yo, Snarky Pickles. What's going on? Yo, Snarky Pickles. Yo, there's nothing more delicious than a Snarky Pickle. I don't even know what that means. But what up, fam? <laughs> Rybo says, I don't trust that cherub. Looks pretty shifty. <laughs> Yo. Oh my gosh. More importantly, we've been given a request from the royal family. Let's find the three products and show it to the king. By the way, Prime Minister, I thought you left. <laughs> Actually, there's something I need you to confirm right now. Especially since it's related to the, kingdom, the kingdom's maritime project. We'd like you to find some interesting products we've researched. The three products are glass... Uh, blah, 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 uh, papyrus, papyrus, papyrus. Someone confirm how to say that. And an oak barrel. You should head to Italy by the Mediterranean Sea. All right. Let's find some glass. Papyrus, pap, papy, papyrus, pap, papyrus. Okay, it's papyrus. Okay, okay, good. I ribo at some th some time in this Nintendo Spotlight. I swear we are going to figure out the touch screen. All I know right now is you can tap the text. It hasn't let me move yet. <laughs> All right, we've established a route. This doll is this doll is for lack of a better word, simply adorable. Which reminds me, I've had I've heard worshippers whispers of a dog of a doll. Jeez, Joe can't read tonight. Made by Clockwork. All right. Okay, can I move around now? All right, two seconds. We're gonna confirm whether or not this entire game can be played touchscreen for research. Oh my God. <laughs> you still haven't found the products? I guess we can wait a bit longer, but you know we are short on time. Once we have all three, we can make some wine soon. Well, fam, if you would let me touch the screen. <laughs> All right, let's find out right now. We're going to go. Okay, Rybo, it looks like you could. Yep, look at that. Ah, uh, you can't really see that. Let me take off chroma key for like two seconds. But um, it does look like you can like zoom in and out to uh, chroma key off. Bam. All right. So, oh my God. Could you stop talking for like two seconds, dude? Okay, 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 all right. Oh my god! His Majesty grants you an ex exclusive contract. Okay, we got the contract, but I haven't grabbed anything yet. I'm just trying to show you this. Oh my god, it ended the episode. I'm just trying to show you the touch screen. <laughs> the trade firm in assignment. <laughs> the kingdom of Portugal hereby bestows the permit to practice under the following conditions. Said permit holder is to assist the kingdom's able to land. <laughs> Force mature. The kingdom shall bear no responsibilities for all unnatural consequences, including natural disaster, unfortunate action of the war. This assignment can be withdrawn with the kingdom and solely by the king's judgment. Signed, King of Portugal, Alfonso V, 1469 AD. <sighs> <sighs> I was just trying to show the touch screen. <laughs> oh my 
god. The game doesn't love you. Yo, it doesn't. I can confirm the game has such screen, Ribo. I'm sorry I couldn't show it to you. <laughs> I'm keeping all of that in. Oh my god. Snake Eyes, thank you for the sub, yo. In 2019 release? Or 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 or, or, I'll or please, or I'll cry, yo, Snake Eyes. We ain't gonna hear from that game anytime soon. I'm sorry, fam. <sighs> and that's the gist. Did you get all of that? What do you mean, no? Ugh. Damn it. Clear out your ears and listen. Well, fam, if you would just let me try to move around for like two seconds. That's all I was trying to show. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. In short, in exchange for exploring undiscovered areas, you get sole trading rights to any product you discover on the way. Furthermore, you'll get another trade route all to yourself. How's that? You'll never come across another contract like this. I hope you know how lucky you are. Hell, I wouldn't mind getting. <clears throat> Excuse me? Anyway, we'll talk about target locations next. That's all for now. Adios. The year 1469 will be moment a momentous one for our trading company. This is truly the dawning of a new era. Sim with the host fam, what is going on? And Snake Eyes, thank you for the resub. Can we get some Joe after switches, some hearts up in the chat for the homie to myth the legend of Snake Eyes? Fam, what is up? We're gonna take a moment here to breathe because I just caught a conniption trying to just show the touch screen. I'm sorry, Ribo, it was like two seconds. <laughs> I would have chosen Rand McNally. There, they wear hats on their feet and hamburgers eat people. Oh no! Is the hamburger in charge? What the hell, fam? <laughs> but yo, Twin World, how you doing, baby? Let's get it started. 1469 completed. Hmm. But I wonder what the target location is. I'm sure you must be curious too. All right, we got our trade permit. Let's do this. Let's note the signing contract of the trade contract is uh, on a historic point. All right, let's put this contract to use by trading exotic products over the world. Just imagine what riches uncharted regions could hold. I shiver with glee. All right, so we're gonna continue trading. Now we have the trade unlocked. Supper break be back in a bit, yo, no worries. Well, now that we have a trade agreement, let me teach you how to trade. A product's price is the most important thing. It's how you make money. But the distance between cities is also a factor. People want exotic goods. Finally, shipping time. The faster you ship, the more often you can ship. A longer a route won't cost more, but a longer route won't cost more, but direct routes are more profitable. That's it for basics. Let's make some money. All right. So now I believe we are making the wine. Registered grapes at the Trade Center acquired. Bam. Boom. Oh, no, not yet. Boom. Grapes are a must for wine. I reference a door wine in case you're looking to reward me. <laughs> All right, we got the time to pay our admirals. Oh, it's the end of the year already? Jesus Christ. 1470, fam. Ma'am. All right, so but yeah, let me tell you a little something, a little about trading posts. Oh, there's the glass over there. We need the glass. Oh, so this is the famous trading center, trade center. That's right. They register products from all over the world. Here, register a product. It's ready for trade by its pro by products too. But don't forget, you can only trade one product at a time. But our exclusive trades contract really is impressive. We get exclusive trade rights to every single product we discover. By the way, have you noticed the way Prime Minister Baldi speaks? He speaks more like a man of the sea than your average Prime Minister. That's understandable because he used to be a pirate. I wonder how he went from being a pirate to Prime Minister. It might have to do with his close, his close ties to the royal family. Oh? It seems like we have a visitor. Please wait a moment. It's the old man again. He's back. So you really did have that the exclusive contract. <laughs> My information was correct after all. My name's Torres. I'm a long serving servant of the House of Amadi Amadia. Almeida. Today I'm here to present you with a highly skilled sailor. I'd like you to take her uh, in as Admiral. My lady, please do come in. Hee <laughs> hee 
That's Lady Maria Almeida. If I recall, Lady Maria inherited inher inherited <laughs> the Master Carlos's fortune and his desire to revive Almeida Trading Company. Yes, that's exactly right. Lady Maria has trained extensively as a sailor in the hopes that she could one day revive the Almeida Trading Company. And that, my boy, my dear boys, why you should hire Lady Maria as an admiral and help her hone her skills. There's no better place for Lady Maria to be to better herself than a trading company with an exclusive trade king contract with the king. Not to mention His Majesty's trust and friendship. I beg of you, please take Lady Maria in as admiral. <laughs> hmm, you do compelling case for her. What should we do, Lady Maria? Please introduce yourself. To think this was why, why you took me out today. Torres, how many times must I tell you? I don't need anybody's help. I'll find Almeida's family sunken, family's sunken ship on my own. Thank you for your time, but I'm leaving now. My lady, wait, please. I'm terribly sorry. I'll be back another day. But allow me to say, in spite of her behavior just now, Lady Maria is very, actually a very kind soul. She's frustrated right now. Please don't get the wrong impression of her. See you again soon. Hee <laughs> hee. Why are ads interrupting the stream? You should only get one at the beginning and that's that, right? At least for me, right? <laughs> that old that old man was the famous Admiral Torres. You never know who you'll meet in this world. All right, so we can get the glass, glass for the wine. We got the grapes in the glass. All right. Ah, this has a beauty similar to gems, but isn't quite quite fit for trade. Fun fact, it is the main component in a mirror, so is that something? So, I have no ships right now, actually, so we can't really do anything. Oh, bam. <laughs> There's an ad every 4 minutes and 45 seconds on Rift Tracks channel. I timed it. It's nuts. He might have a timer, though. That might be that might be the thing, Snake Eyes. Is he a partner? Cause he has like those like different abilities. He or she has that ability to like call on ads. Civ doesn't have dialogue like this, no? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got the glass, we got the grapes. Ooh, yay. New theme! All right, so let's start discovering some of these things. Let's make that money. Twitch has been randomly freezing for me lately, though. Really? I I haven't gotten to freezing in the last week or so. Oh, did it freeze for you, Rival? I'm sorry. I'm just catching that right now. Yo, there's so much dialogue right now. I'm so sorry. And barrels, right? Yes, okay, we got all three items. Perfect. Oak barrels are some of the best barrels for fer fermentation. Uh, if you plan to brew an aged spirit, then look no further. All right. Sorry if I'm interrupting. You might be busy, but I have brought you a task. It's an order given by the Majesty the King. Oh dear, Prime Minister Baldi. Our trading company fully intends to enact the, with, uh, the will of the King's court. But do you mind telling me the particulars of this order? Very well, your next destination is the land that lies far beyond the east of India, the Golden Kingdom. Or, as it is otherwise known as Zipangu. We would prefer it, 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 if you reached the region, that region in the next 30 years. Did you say Zipangu? Zipangu. Zipangu. I do believe I've heard of the name Zipangu, the Kingdom of Gold. That's correct. Some say they even had golden plate palaces over there. Such a place certainly couldn't exist, could it? Certainly does. Far far to the east beyond Arabia and in India and China. Our king hopes that we will arrive there before any other country. This is a massive task, but you must mu but you might have a sliver of a chance. But to arrive in such a distant land within 30 years might eat away at our capital. We will provide you with two more trade lines that should cover it. My majesty has put quite a bit of faith in you, and he's not alone. I expect great things from all of you as well. 
Yes, sir. Then it's settled. Our trading company will bring the dream of the trade to, with Zipangu to life. And that's why I put so much faith in you. Don't let his majesty now down. Down now. Adios. Okay. We got another trade permit. It's like Mystery Science Theater 3000, their company, so I guess they, they set frequent ads. Yeah, that's got to be it. Unless it's like a freeze and a refresh sort of situation. That's the only other thing I can think of is like they have like a set thing for an ad button to go off on like a sh on a on like a key on a hot key or something. With our new trade routes secured, I can't help but feel excited. Full speed ahead to the kingdom of gold. Let's get trading. Okay, I'm officially past where I got on the on the thing. Mind you, it took me 45 minutes to get to this point when I was playing the game. It's probably been 45 minutes anyway, too. But <laughs> but it felt so much longer when I was doing this uh, at the event. Oh, man. I beg your pardon, but if you'd like to get to Zipangu, I have a proposal for how we should get there. A proposal, you say? Do go on. I'll start from the end. If you want Zipangu, if you want to get to Zipangu, I would advise a westward route. A westward route? Hmm. I hate to say it, but that would have us going the wrong way. Or so you think, Miguel. But it seems you lack understanding. I cannot believe that you aren't privy to the round world theory. Oh, here we go. The round world theory. What's that? Some kind of food? Oh, let's go. Battle it. Miguel. This world is a sphere. Dinner time, make the world fly. No, hell one, enjoy dinner. In other words, it's round, or at least so says the yet unproven theory. Oh, what are you talking about? Everyone knows about the waterfalls at the edges of the world. Oh, have you seen these waterfalls of which you speak? Well, that depends on your definition of, no, I haven't seen them. Of course not, no one's seen the edge of the world. But nobody has proven that the world is round yet either. But the theory has been around since the time of the ancient Greeks. Well, my grandpa taught me that the world is surrounded by waterfalls. According to the sailors around here, it's common knowledge. It's a belief without a base, like a folktale or a superstition. The world's surrounded by waterfalls. I want to see them. So I seek the truth. Hmm, well, if you're so sure about this, Professor Perez, Mayhaps there is something, some truth to the world being round. And even with the theory, I'm still not sure why we go, we should go westward. If the world is round, then a westward route would lead us to the far east. In fact, it could very well be a faster way to get there. Oh, I see now. This is, But this is a gamble of, this, of a decision. Do we go eastward to Zivangu? Or do we go west, as Perez says? This is a decision I am unqualified to make. I leave it up to you. Flat lurk mode engaged? Oh my god. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the current situation. Now then, this is the world map as we know it, and... This is the eastward route to Zipangu. It's much more conventional. This route is low risk and safe. I strongly advise this approach. But if you're feeling brave... Here's the westward route to Zipangu, proposed by Professor Perez. This route is frankly dangerous. There's no precedent for this. But if the world is surrounded by waterfalls, we won't reach Zipangu. I much prefer that we avoid this route. This decision rests entirely upon your, you and your judgment. Though I would highly, highly encourage the eastward route. Yo, we going west, fam. Let's go. To get to Zipangu via the eastward route, we need to go to the South Africa Cape and beyond India. There it lies. Based on the routes I've considered, I believe that this world would uh, would be the right choice. This route should be the right choice. Uptime. Yo fam, I don't even know what the uptime is for Streamlabs, to be honest with you. This area should be Zipangu. And I think... This area should be India. And furthermore, this area should be South Africa Cape. And last but not least, this is our dear Lisbon. Dear me, this looks like it might be a long journey indeed. I can't wait, help but be excited. To go westward to, oh my God, we's, all right. 
Sanktroff Sank is the westmost place on our map. It's in Africa. It's a close city uh, to the fog, the uncharted regions. But an exploration ship can go only as far as its range, meaning you cannot chart an, unex an exploration route any longer than that. But if it helps the fleet to stop at ports near the final destination, well then let's move our exploration fleet to Sanktroff. To relocate the first, uh, choose relocate from the menu command. All right. So I'm assuming fleet. To mobilize the fleet. All right. So let's see. Carrick made for long distances. Locks in speed and agility. I'm going to go with that one. I guess repair it, right? Yeah, that's not going to cost us much to repair. Perfect. And now... Relocate. Give it a try. Let's go to Sanctroth, which I guess that's what this is. Yes, let's go. All right. So now that they're doing that, boom, perfect. A very convenient tool for the map organization is called divi a divider. Oh my Christ! This is it. The small, uh, see the small numbers set to the bottom left. This is your map scale. All right. Okay, so they're traveling there around there, but um, can I set up? All right. And talk about charisma. Charisma impacts the town's amity towards our trading company. If an admiral has low charisma, they might be turned away from a town. The town's amity and an admiral's and, and admirals can balance each other out, though. A low charisma admiral can still get into a town with high amity. So remember to send high charisma admirals to town with low amity. Oh, also, the amity of a town is inversely related to its distance from Portugal. So the farther we are, the higher the amity is going to be, which means we'll need a higher charisma person. I think I understood that right. Be sure to check it out as you look at the city's information. Thanks for what? For, thank you for waiting. We can finally embark on our exploration. All right, we want to explore. Then Admiral Gomez Zarman. So it's finally my turn. I've been itching to set up, uh, set out on the open waters. All right. Let's go to fleets. Bam. All right. Bam. And now change. All right. Boom. Oh, I noticed the wages changed too in price. Something changed there. I lost 3,000. <laughs> All right, let's go have the fleet explore. Open the menu on the bottom left of the screen to open explore. Boom. Now. All right, you can chart. Okay, set up. Pressing A. If it's not too far, you can add via a via point. Pressing the A button. By repeating this, you can easily chart a route. Lastly, sell, select sail. All right. Now, please chart a course. The continent of uh, South Africa, be sure to draw a course. But wait, what happened to going west? He's not giving me an option. That's duty. I want to discover things.
Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, so... I have to pick up the... The area. Okay. I notice how th it's looking like it's making it flat. This guy talks so much. Yo, fam, yo, I'm, I'm like getting to the point of like, okay, I think I'm starting to understand it to the point where I don't need to like read every little thing as much. No, screw it. We're going to be a rebel. Let's go west. Can we just drop him off for, on an island? <laughs> Yo, fam. Alright, so while he's doing that... I've long waited for this moment. Oh my god, yes. As heartwarming as this is, I need you to stop talking for like two seconds. Oh man, we got a whole dialogue here. I feel so inspired. The sea is my world, the ship is my home. Even misfortune is just another stepping stone to my grand future. All right, you slackers, you have it easy. Now, you follow me. Farewell, see you soon. I'm Rogo Vessel, later to be over. Can we just drop him off on an island and something? Talk to the locals, yo. Damn, he doesn't want to let your, you let go of your hand. Now it's like, okay, I get, I, I, I think I am ready to be let go. Alright, so while that's happening, I can fast forward to speed that up, but um, I do want to take this moment right now to kind of see what I can discover. I, I was also curious about, because there was a trading thing somewhere around here too. Vacation too. All right, you probably didn't know about this. Rojas, the barkeep here, was actually one of the company's admirals. Something happened to him that caused him to quit and open up a pub. A wanderlust and close to going on venture. Well, I'm sure he'll be back soon. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Boom. Can I take a ship there? Ah, here we go. Now I can actually make trades. Perfect. Okay. So, 5G a day. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I can't pick that other one, but I could pick this one. So, let's just pick this one. 5,000. Bam. Let's select a product. See. Ooh, we can make a lot of money with uh, mercury there. Ooh, the glass, though. Huh. Let's trade glass? City information... Inside City, Amity is 5. See, I don't know what the levels of Amity is. Good thing you want to see. Either easy to hide bodies, yo fam, yo. Secondary product. Man. So we're trading glass from Mercury, it seems like. Okay. Are we thinking clear? We not trade within the same city. Oh, 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 okay. So then, hold on. Yes, let's cancel that if that's the case. Discover a little bit more then. Got that Malk. The font in this game is very wee, quite nice. Really? Oh, Antonio Gomez fleet has returned to... San oh no, what happened? Time for departure. One always hopes for an auspicious start to any journey. These first steps will lead to all of our journey's achievements. That's why a good start is important. Oh, oh, okay, I see what's happening. When they explore an area, they go, they go back afterwards because I guess there's no area for them to dock, maybe?
Don't you think the fonts and dialogues and things? I'm not even sure, cause dude, you gotta remember, I did, I barely had a Wii. Wii was the one console that I barely had. Our Voyager is over as of today. We found new land, so I can't complain. I'd like to discover even more on our next route. Uh, okay, oh, well, he's fine. Do you approve of this report? Well, we did find a little bit of land, so I want to see what that is. Oh, hello. What the heck? I'm glad, I'm glad we looked. Okay, it's 1470, so we have until 1500 to find the 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 other thing the other land that the guy wants us to find let's listen for some rumors nearby all right when we find a new town i suggest relocating the fleet to there so we have time let me explain approving and disapproving trade routes is very important okay this i will listen to let's say you disapprove what happens let's say an exploration fleet has brought back a report on the coastline you disapprove the report and send them out again. Go sign changes like this. If you approve, this is locked in and you'll confirm from here. See, this portion of the continent has been positively identified. By the way, if you you'd approve the of the initial results, your results might have been completely different. Like for example, your approval or disapproval changes the very world map. Oh, Jesus Christ. So that's how we end up if we're going to end up on a flat world or a round world. Is that what's happening here? So receive the reports from the exploration fleets, then approve or disapprove. Only by repeating the process will we complete the world map. Let's see how this plays out. So that's all randomized then. Holy crappies. like that it's up to you on how the world will turn out oh, excuse me this is the world that everybody knows but this it's not this world the heck this world map might end up looking like this huh or maybe like this yo yo I want that one some might even look like this. This world is shaped by your approval and disapproval. Maybe Africa is divided into North and South, or Eurasia is two pieces. Or perhaps 90, the world is 90% ocean or almost entirely land. The, the world is what you make it, and I encourage you to follow your heart. Huh. I want to know what the hell that is. Alright, is he letting me know? By the way, did you notice the notices? I thought you just said, let me explore the world on my own. Come on, fam. Let me go. Cut the cuffs off. Cut the umbilical cord. Let's go. The small ones pop after e pop up after each report. Ah, they gain experience points too. Oh, geez, there's a leveling up aspect to the admirals. <laughs> Which essentially means that exploration and investigation allow the adm us admirals to improve. So try to keep us busy. That's right. Us admirals have to improve. They will level up. So don't look. So do look forward to that. Guess that means I still have some growing up to do. I'm afraid I'm not quite ready for voyage. You should send Gomez. But investigation is very important, and that's Admiral P uh, Perez's part. We could send him out uh, if we only had another exploration per permit. You know who will show his face shortly, and speak of the devil. Sorry to interrupt. Alright, received another exploration permit. Yay, we can, we can sail. Alright, I'm going to skip this. Sorry, guys. The Great Pyramids were built in less time than this tutorial has taken. Yo. <laughs> um, I won't dignify that with a response, but His Majesty the King has placed his hopes in the great hero Gomez. With the way the world has broadened, you'll have a lot to do. I'll talk to the court about granting you more exploration permits. I'll leave the matter of exploring the world in your hands. Adios. Uh, to head eastward to Japan. We must pass the southern tip of Africa. By that logic, our first destination should be uh, should be the South African Cape. We should we should be in this area. Yeah, I'm not going that way. <laughs> uh, from what I from what I heard from Arabian seafarers, it should be. But yeah, 
To us navigators, the dark uh, uh, Africa is the dark continent, a region of the unknown. It gets hotter the more you go south. Some say it's a gateway to hell, but you might fall prey to the beasts or pirates before you get there. While I enjoy your cheer, I will advise you not to let your guard down, Miguel. Yo, Zero, what is going on? Thank you for the biddies, fam. What's going on, dude? All right, so I guess we have no choice. Now it's a mission to go to South Africa. All right. I wanted to go west. I wanted to prove the world was round. What the hell, man? All right. Fine. We're now able to create another fleet. Okay. Okay. Yo, Zero coming in with that party of eight. What is up? Yo, hold up. We're going to take a quick pause for the cause because we just got raided by the homie. By the way, welcome everybody from <laughs> Zero Stream. I'm Joe, and uh, we're doing a segment here called Nintendo Spotlight that we do when new games drop on the Switch. Although this one came out a year ago digitally, uh, it is dropping a physical from NIS America on the 9th, so we're checking it out. We got an early copy. Uh, well, I guess you can't say an early copy, but we, we got a copy of the game through NIS America, and we're checking it out right now. Shrimp Alfredo, fam. Dude. Damn. Making me hungry. <laughs> let's, yo, dude, Reno, what's going on, dude? All right, let's get back in. Uh, choose an admiral and ship. Careful though, the more you set up, the more it will cost. If you run out of funds, disbanding the fleet is a wise choice. All right, the more you have, the more the voyage distance will increase. Uh, just about to do it. Happy fleeting. Okay, so I guess we are going to the. South Africa. Let's go and explore. Um. Oh, there we go. Uh, can I make it there? Where are they? Oh, okay. They are back there. So we're going to have to go this route over here. Yo, Jack Shan with the resub. Let's go. Set sail. Can we get some Joe after switches up in the chat? Yo, Zero with the gifted sub, fam. What is going on? Zero, thank you. And yo, Jack Shan coming in. What is up, dude? Given the gravity of this mission, I must be alert even to my familiar scenes. All right. Let's go. Let's see what he's discovering. Ah, we got some land. I approve. Okay. Oh, but he barely sailed. We got to get all the way where? Did you hear? There's a sunken ship near Bordeaux. The city of grapes. We don't know why, where, uh, exactly where, but perhaps, I don't know, maybe it's full of treasures right for the taking. Hey, it's Maria. She's back. Maria. Oh, she's gonna apply to be an admiral. Awesome. Be right back. Food's done. Lurk time. Yo, zero. Get that food in. Yeah. Oh, she cut off all her hair. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. Awesome. Let's go. Dudorino. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming a travesty due to the Joe branch doesn't like us either. Yo, no. Damn, 3%. Bro, how much percent is this now? We're like 14% in debt to these people? 
Golly. All right, we got three admirals. I still got to figure out how to use the other one. <laughs> this game is not <laughs> letting me do the do. I get it. It's setting up, but my goodness, how long is the tutorial portion? All right, historic point. Supposedly he is for the bystanders. Yo, yo, how, how about we try not to kick Joe off PNP first? <laughs> I see what you do on Twitter. Yo, Miguel, how have you been? Rojas, where were you? I was worried about you. Sorry, sorry, I was looking for the perfect food to pair with drinks. Looking for bar food? Yo, my man's a drunkard. Is this the same drunkard I killed in Sekiro? Oh, man. Can't believe... Uh-oh. If, admiral if the admirals are this easy on their eyes now, I should have stayed one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm trying to skim through the dialogue so that way hopefully- Oh my goodness. Long ago, we had a skilled, arrogant admiral named Solus. Solus and Gomez competed in everything, but neither could, uh, could top me. All young and energetic back in those days, Admiral Solus was a great man who earned the trust of his sailors. I'm just a sim, sim life farmer who just stands by innocently. I'm just a simple farmer. <laughs> lies, Ribo, lies. April Fool's joke, Ribo, I'm sure it'll be up tomorrow. <laughs> I knew he'd come back eventually to tell him to drop by. Well then, young lady, I'll be right er, waiting right here. Yo. We've wasted a full year talking. A full year has gone by. No wonder why it's going to take us 30 years. Potatoes for Lisbon. Thanks, I'm counting on you. I will never in my life get your potatoes imported into Lisbon. Oh my Christ. Can we have, um, no, don't have Gomez do it. Can't I have the other guy do it? Hold on, I gotta have him explore. There we go, okay. I still gotta get around this. Right. All right, so while he's doing that, thank you, Jesus. Really true that Zipangu is the country of gold? That's what they say. Yo, bro. It felt like a full year or two. Sounds about right for the Portuguese. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Yeah, let's try to figure out this trade route thing. Let's go. Bam, confirm. Select the product. Let's select it. Istanbul, not Constantinople. Um, 
So let's see. The ring is what they're looking for. That's a like for a like trade, right? Or am I trying to make a... Uh, I, I guess we'll see. Glass, can we do that? Ship costs. Let's see if that works. I hope. Mm, discover some stuff here. Make some cash back. Boom. Oh. Make all these discoveries right now, fam. Gotta get these materials going. Booyah! Alright. Sheesh. Oh, thank you. Woo! 150? Hell yeah! We raking in. Raking in the dough. Seems the king has been collecting these types of gemstones, including crafted items like rubies, rings. There are 19 types to be found. Find and register all of them at the Trade Center. and be rewarded with 10 million gold. Oh, yes, please. Oh, God. Capital and other resources, you will be paid annually from our support fund based on the map percentage. If you clear more fog from the map, you'll get more... Ah, oh, snap. Okay. Okay. We're making money now. Let's go. Did he end up mar... Wait. They tricked you, Joe. This is really a visual novel. Yo, for real, though. Yo, they debated your boy. <laughs> 10 million minus everyone's percentage yo fam yo cb what's going on what is up let's see oh he made it back from his quest all right let's see what's going on oh god not the chip all right what did you discover Oh, thank you. I can press X to... We discovered schools. Some of them bumped into the... The lookout called from the crow's nest. And the black sheep pirates, no doubt about it. Luckily, they hadn't seen us. I would advise taking another route if we can. Oof. Okay. We'll end sight. We shall return to the port. Okay. Sick bro going to bed early tonight. Yo, dude, get that rest, man. Definitely get that rest. Now, my question is, how do I, like, get this fog out of here? Let's see. Let's just see if there's anything else for me to discover here at this moment. Before I send the Admiral back out, I think we're good. Oh. What do we got here? Nice. Oh, another one. Yeah, can we get some love for CB up in the chat? Kirina! Kirina Chicana! Kirina Chicana! <laughs> oh, the giant octopus thing. The kraken ran away. Okay. We're good there. Um, actually, hold on. Let me save it because it's been a hot minute. <laughs> nice polo shirt. You're very adult of you. I forgot to change my shirt. I forgot to change my shirt. Let's see if we change the... Uh, I've only found two themes, really. Let's see. Set up another... Ah, so that's how. Okay, so we can just straight up like go around and select a product. Ah, uh, okay. Let's trade barrels for some grapes.
Stop butchering my name, damn it. Yo. But I say it, Kirena. <laughs> You argue with Google Translate. So you didn't intend to polo up? No, I wore this to work. <laughs> At the hit, the Hague, have a great night. CB, have a great night, fam. Can we get some love for CB up in the chat? Feel better, dude. Let's see, let's see. Let's get, let's get this, uh, let's get these trades going. I don't even know what the hell I'm trading what for what, but... <laughs> We're gonna make it work. Uh, salt in Athens for... What makes sense? Actually, no, we'll skip that for now. Yeah. We'll cancel this trade. This looks like a weird resource training game. I dig it. Yo, Bland Explosion, what's going on? Dude, it's like... Semi-visual novel... I shouldn't even say semi-visual novel. It's like visual novel novel meets civilization, dude. <laughs> it takes a hot minute to, to get things rolling. I feel like we're still in the tutorial, but there's slightly less talking now. All right, so let's see. Oh, uh, still? Come on, bro. Oh, my God. No, could you stop with the undo the point? There we go. Where is it? It's right there? Okay. Set sail. Let's go. Yes. And actually, what episode do, I, do we need to... Oh my god, look at all these things that we haven't completed yet. A Lady's Wish. Hold on. Um, Maria Almeida, upon hearing of shipwreck in Bordeaux, has asked to become an admiral and conduct diving investigations for us. File the rumors to the shipwreck. Oh Christ. God, it's been two years now. Dang it. Wow, 32,000. Come on, dude. Yo, we're going to go broke from this guy. Ugh, this 7% is killing me. <laughs> They're secretly throwing away his t-shirts and forcing them to step up. No fun in secret. I enjoy seeing him cry. <laughs> then record it. Oh, my God. Can you start a war? I don't think we could start a war. Although, although there's probably a tutorial for that if there is a war. Yo, Sean Capri! What's going on, dude? <laughs> the Capri of Sean. The Sean of Pants. Preferably with that guy who won't stop talking. <laughs> Yo, all right, so we got him going. Oh, Christ. Wow, that was quick. That must mean I hit land somewhere. Must I see your exhibition every time, dude? Really? Wow! That is so st Oh, we hit pirates? Wrangle the pirate. Listen up, mateys. The your sea and all that belongs to me. Hmm, wait, you're Baldi's boys, aren't you? Well, make sure you tell the coward Baldi this. Tell him not to not get cocky. Just because he's found some fancy prime minister now. If he does anything to annoy me, there'll be hell to pay. Make sure you tell him that's a message from, special message from Ragnall the Pirate. As for you lot, I'm feeling generous today, so I'll let you off. But don't think that's happening if you'd be crossing my path again. Uh-oh. Too scared to continue, so we set sail. Damn it! Where does it show your, yeah, we're making money on the lower right corner there. Ragnall the Pirate, the wild beast of the sea. I hope we won't have to deal with him. Let's discuss this with... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. See him try. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. Oh, we got something new there. 
Prime Minister Baldi is truly a dependable fellow. Sailors should feel much safer now. All right, what do we got here? Sugar cane, let's go. We got the sugar cane boys. More sugar cane boys up, boys up in here. Spotlight covers it. Um, is it at 13k? Oh, wait, whoops. I can fix that. It's at 445,000 right now. We've been making that money tonight. Oh, Christ. Wine has been crafted. Oh, there we go. We put the barrels with the wine, so now, uh, uh, with the grapes, and so now we got wine. Where is my, there we go. Bam. Lift it up just, actually. We'll put it right up here for now. Bam. Yes. So it seems like we can mix up things. And if we mix them up right, we can create the right things. Look at that. I never claimed I could read Joe. <laughs> Yo, no worries, Rymo. Oh my god. Joe sounds like Mr. Krabs. Yo. But is that the paddy wagon and tent talk? What is going on, dude? All right, let's try to set sail again. Oh, Christ. All right. Wait, what can we investigate? Oh, damn. It's been three years, and all we made progress on is ocean. Well, we keep hitting things. We keep running into pirates and, like, beat someone up. Lizabelle! Welcome back. We're just trying to, uh, figure out how to get to what I think is probably Japan, but they just aren't saying it. <laughs> Alright, so, we know now. Let's at least do that. Can we do this? I'm trying to get to that purple destination down there. Alright, let's set sail again. Let's see what the hell happens. Ooh, yeah. Alright, we're checking out a game. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, so every time you hit land, that's it. They can't even walk on it. That's crazy. Oh, because Ragnall is getting in the way? Is that what's happening? Ah. Okay. So Ragnall straight up, nah. Masked pirate. Oh my god, it's the freaking Prime Minister. Jesus Christ. Don't you dare lay a finger on that ship. I'm your opponent today. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Don't get in my way. And thus Ragnall the pirate, the mysterious man in the masked pirate began to duel. With elegance and skill, the masked pirate had Ragnall in the ropes. Knowing that he had lost, Ragnall attempted to make a quick getaway. I'll let you have this one, but you haven't defeated me. I'll remember your faces and hunt you down. And Ragnall ran away, still spitting insults, threats, and complaints. Are you guys okay? Good. But you can try to, to go toe-to-toe -to -to -toe with pirate ships like yours. I will be the one to keep the seas safe. Adios! Haha! <laughs> Saying this, the masked pirate gave chase after Ragnall. We stood stunned in silence for a while. Who is the masked pirate? What sort of face Matt hides behind that mask? Having escaped danger, we decided to return home to report our findings. <laughs> Yo, cool bat, what's going on? Yo, it's a fancy pirate, dude, it's Zoro. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a dependable fellow from the sounds of it. Oh my god, it's the same face with the mask, dude. You ain't hiding anything. Oh, Christ. 
Whatever. We're never making it to 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 Zipangu, I think. You'll well, you'll find him in Sicily. Should he be near the town of Palomero? If you prepare a fighting force now and go after him, you'll oh, we fight and we're going to war. Ribo, we're going to war. He's in Sicily. Up, oh, they forgot the space there, near Palomero. Good luck. Adios. Ha. Quite the character. Well then, I guess we'll have to send to Sicily. If I recall, Sicily is in Italy. Ah. We're never gonna make it to this down area right here. <laughs> we keep freaking bumping into pirates. Nice. They got the trade route going over here, which is beautiful. Oh, and now they got the wine. Oh my God. Yo, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at what we're making. Hold up. What is this? That's milk. What can we milk mix? What can we trade the milk with? What makes sense? We're going to stop this trade here. Cease. Yeah. Let's hold on to that. Actually, let's just cancel full on. Abolish it. Damn. This is a good trade right here. Can't you just take the suit? This the the Suez Canal. Why do you want to go to Africa, Joe? Because we gotta make our way to Zipangu. Oh my Christ. <laughs> Joe bless the rains down in Africa. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Another year has gone by and we've made no progress on this travel to Zipangu. I'm about to go west. Yo. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> I've lost my patience. This is where Ragnall's hold is here. But fam, you barely gave me a chance. I'm done. I'm done, guys. <laughs> what? It was right next to where I was. Come on, dude. How far was that from where I was? I'm sorry. No, it was right there. I have a goddamn conniption. Investigate this goddamn thing. No, we're swapping. We're swapping out. We're swapping out. We're gonna have this damn conversation. I have a goddamn heart attack over this. Um, let's see. Yes, we're going to switch am admirals here for a minute. We're going to investigate. Wow, but it's like the game lost patience and we had like literally two seconds. We were just moving things around. Uh, let's go. All right. He's having his conversations. I heard from Turs that the mass pirate defeated Rang Ragnall. Oh my god. All right. What? You're Luis Rodrigo de Baldi. Well, you can just call me Baldi. I must. I just resigned as prime minister. Wait, what? The king's court was too stuffy for me. I'm not a po I'm not polit politician material. Besides, my true love is the sea. Oh, uh, he's gonna be an admiral for us. How much money is he gonna take from us? Fifteen percent. <sighs> I may butt in. Baldi has already informed me of his king, wanting to be a man of the sea again. I could never understand what he finds so special about all that water, but I'm certain he's unmoving to his decision to return to the life of the sea. It hurts to lose a man of Baldi's caliber, but I fully support his choice. The Zipangu situation that I still can't find, that I can't get anywhere with. <laughs> you can't drive a boat through land. All right, last I checked. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. 
Is that a female cap? Yes, that is a female admiral. She joined us, but I can't choose anything without two seconds of them talking. <laughs> Another fleet permit retained. 7%. Golly. Man, what is that? That's 7% for, 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 for a big guy. 7% for him. 3% for homegirl. And 4% for... For um, for the homeboy. Yo, why 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 is the female got the lowest percent, fam? What happened to equal rights here? Equal opportunity. Yo, equal pay. What happened here? What's with this high percentage? And she gets three percent, fam. What's going on here? Can I rate? Can I change the rates? All right. Can I even this out a bit? I'm um, fourteen seventy three. This was back in the day. <laughs> But damn it, this is my world. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we completed a mission at least. Look at that, we completed a mission. We accomplished something here. Oh yeah. Alright, y'all. <laughs> We are gonna end it here for Nintendo Spotlight, but don't go anywhere. We're still gonna continue on forward. Uh <laughs> I feel like I would have a deeper appreciation of this for this game if it weren't for the constant in between jibber jabber that I'm like trying to like. I get the game is trying to teach me how to play the game, and there is a lot of complexities to this game. And I appreciate that it's showing me, but when it gets to the point that it is holding my hand to the point that I can't do things and then it starts to frustrate me that I can't do those things because it's constantly giving me five minutes, ten minutes of dialogue, that's where it's defeating the purpose of what a tutorial is. And for that, it's kind of making it really hard to suggest a game like this to someone unless they are very much into the visual novel aspect meeting the civilization aspect, which I feel like there's still so much more dialogue to go. At this point, we've only got four admirals, and I'm assuming since this is a story-based game, there's going to be a set number of admirals that we get for our party, and then we can finally move around with the fleet. But we've been at it for an hour and a half now. Almost two hours, I want to say. And... I can't move two seconds without a character getting frustrated at me for not finding something so then he shows us where it is meanwhile I wanted to explore something else real quick before I went to it but they're like no you have to do you like I went and grabbed it and then like two seconds later the, the king got frustrated with me and was like forget it here it is so for that it is very hard to like I would say if you again the visual novel thing if you're into that then i can totally i would say recommend it for you but i just oh my god no i, I, I <laughs> i'm gonna try more off camera but man this is very in, in it's getting it's hitting a nerve of like all right i have learned a comparable amount let me get this down on my own and then come back to me with some more sort of situation so I'm whole, I, I, I can't, I can't recommend, it's not even a rage, it's a, it's like a frustration that I can't explain of it trying to like, uh, uh, of like me trying to get through and like play the game for myself and it's not letting me do that now. And it's like almost two hours now that we've been at it. So <laughs> that is Nintendo Spotlight. That was Neo Atlas 1492. Uh, 1469, sorry. 1469. <laughs> I feel like we've reached 1492 at this point with all the time we spent trying to hit into land there. <laughs> but, um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I forgot my outro. This has been Nintendo Spotlight. Let me know what you guys think of Neo Atlas 14... <laughs> 1469, I almost said 92 again. 92 rolls off the tongue so well. It's right there. I'm looking right at the screen. <laughs> Thank you, NIS America, for the new copy. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to go more off camera and see if the dialogue gets a little bit lighter 
hopefully it lets me open up and try to do things on my own a little bit more but if it doesn't then i'm gonna have to pass but um <laughs> i appreciate y'all stick around in the live stream we're gonna continue more uh final fantasy 7 for tonight and um yeah i am crumbling here i am very much crumbling and i will see you guys in the next video with that take care love y'all